Have you ever felt so strongly about something nothing would stop you? Tonight, the incredible story of Peyton Robinson. The MTSU student left school, booked a flight, and went to Ukraine. Talk about incredible. As News Channel 5's Nick Barris tells us, Robinson had no plan, no contacts, no military training, just his convictions to make a difference. This is Peyton Robinson, an MTSU sophomore, but for now his studies are on hold. He comes from a close-knit family in Lebanon, and he's known for always lending a hand. This is his personality. That's, that's the type of person he is. Uh, he loves helping people. Peyton watched with great concern the devastating war in Ukraine. He couldn't shake what he saw happening. Disturbed by the Russian invasion, he decided he needed to take a stand, which leads us to this. Okay, we got you. There we All go. right. A FaceTime conversation with Peyton by candlelight from the Ukraine. I said, there is something I can do. I can get on a plane, I can leave America, and I can go over and I can do something. In early April, he told friends and family he was going and bought a plane ticket to Hungary, traveling there alone. When you landed in Budapest, there was no one there to meet you. So you just said, no. all right, which way to Ukraine? So I'm, uh, I was just going to go and I was just going to cross the border. Peyton then took buses and trains all the way to Ukraine's capital of Kiev, again, just by himself. I'm going to be all my own. No one is here to help me. And I'm in a foreign country. I'm going to be in a foreign country with no help. But once there, he met up with Ukrainians who welcomed the American, who told them he just wanted to help. And whenever they met me, they um, uh, knew I didn't speak any Ukrainian, and they talked to everyone for me. They even brought me to a Ukrainian safe house. Eventually, he joined other volunteers in an evacuated apartment in the nearby city of Irpin. A few of them did speak English. And I talked to the volunteers, and I said, I want to help. I'm an American volunteer. I flew halfway across the world. I'm here to, here to help. And they say, OK, um, uh, how do you feel about digging up um, uh, excavating corpses? And I said, I'd be honored to. A harsh reality of this war is the fate of the bodies of those who have died. In the chaos of the fighting, the casualties have been buried in mass graves. What we do is we go and we dig up the corpses and we, um, uh, the police identify them for war crimes. And um, uh, we send them off to the morgue to be properly identified and sent back to their families. And then hopefully they get a proper burial. This video shows Peyton and his crew out navigating through the destruction looking for those mass graves. We'll just be walking down the street and just air raids will just be happening. And there's like missile strikes coming in. We get air raids a lot. Um, we get air raids constantly throughout the day. These photographs he sent show Peyton at work and the many body bags filled and sent to the morgue. It's something he does each day, then they all head back at nightfall. And there's a bunch of us, we all stay in this house and the houses around us. Because when we first got here, we didn't have any electricity, we didn't have running water. We just got running water last week. With no power, things get dark very fast. So exhausted, they all sleep. The next day, they get up and do it all over again. And every morning, we just come and we meet and we drink coffee. I don't understand anything they're saying, of course, but um, we just hang out and they we just eat together. Like um, before I came and talked to you, we were just eating borscht. Here he turns his cell phone around to show his Ukrainian housemates. Say hi. Oh. Say hi to America. Hi. Hello. Uh, they're asking if they want to see my dad. Oh, sure. Lean in there. Uh, Tato. Hello. This is the first time Peyton's father, Andrew, has seen his son since he arrived in Ukraine. Up until now, it's just been phone conversations or texts. Andrew knows the dangers his son faces in the war-torn country. He didn't want him to go, but Peyton told him he'd return. I promised my family that I would come back as soon as the war was over. So I want to be back as soon as possible. But for now, with no end to the war in sight, Peyton has canceled his return flight home. His father knows he's going to see it through to the very end. Keep doing what you're doing, and we love you for it, and we're glad to see you come back. Love you, Dad. Nick Barris, News Channel 5.